Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this short video, I want to talk about the Turbo C++ compiler. I'm sure you must have heard about the, this uh, C++ compiler if you have been involved in programming. Uh, but just in case you don't, this uh, was a very popular compiler back in the 90s. And this is how I started my programming uh, with. So I thought maybe, you know, I'll just cover a short, a short introduction uh, to this compiler and just explain about this and also because it is still used in uh, many companies and in many embedded related projects as well so if you are one of those uh, persons who is involved in writing a uh, in writing your code for free dos or for uh, or for ms dos so you know using this compiler maybe this can be of some some help to you this is just a beginner video really in future videos i'll i'll keep covering these in detail as we go but I should add that just for introduction and just for fun, my interest in uh, uh, in the MS DOS operating system was um, oh, I mean there especially back in the 90s there were a lot of viruses written for this operating system really and one of the favorite was to see the characters on your screen falling. So at that time when I was a beginner I didn't knew how to do such things. So as time progressed in, I think by around, after somewhere around three, three, four years, I was able to write a short code, which I could make the characters on the screen fall. And uh, that was very interesting and amusing. Maybe I'll cover that in the next video, how to do that. And that also is a good exercise in uh, C and uh, with, uh, with C++ pointers as well. So it's a good exercise if you want to use C and if you want to use pointers and learn how the memory works. So maybe we can cover that in the next video. But in this video, we'll talk about the Turbo C++ compiler. So I've just written a short program as like the previous one, which was written in quick C. So this is a C++ compiler, by the way. So before I run this program and also show you another demo which came with the Turbo C++ and also with the Borland C++, well, let us just talk about the compiler itself. What are the main options? What are the interesting bits uh, which we should look about? So if you go to the application menu, so in the environment, make sure you go and set your preferences. But the important thing is if you go to linker, there are settings for libraries, make sure you check the container classes and the graphics library and the standard runtime for most of the applications or for most of the code to work just in case if you are new to this compiler so make sure these options are checked so that way when you write any program which uses a graphics library it will run without any problems so it just happens if you are new to the compiler you have to go and make changes in these menus so so that uh, all the necessary options are taken care of so this is what we are make, making. We are just making a standard executable with the memory model small and uh, yeah, the default one. So yeah, that's it really. I mean, uh, that's, those are the interesting bits. And there are some sample codes, uh, sample code which comes along with this compiler. I'll also provide a link from where this compiler can be downloaded in case you're interested or I can provide the entire virtual image itself. It does not take uh, that much space. So you already have a virtual computer already made. Just uh, uh, just open that in the VMware player and you should be good to go. So, okay, what is this code about, which is which you see on your screen? Well, all it uh, does is it initializes the graphics library using the init graph function and just sets the background color to blue, the text color to white, centers the text, and it should display welcome to everything embedded and we go back to the normal mode after a key has been pressed so this sounds very simple let's try to see if we can uh, run this so let's go to the dos shell so this is what should display so yeah again a very simple piece of code welcome to everything embedded not that much interesting but i think this is a good start how to write a short program in turbo c plus plus using the Turbo C++ compiler. So I'll show something. So there is another sample which comes along with this. It's called as the BGI demo or the Borland graphics demo. So I already have compiled it. Let me run this just to see what this is about. So just in case if you 
find it interesting or maybe it will uh, bring back your old memories which if you have used this compiler in the past so just let me run this so yeah it was a standard example code which came along with this compiler so as we are seeing on the screen now so yeah displays various graphics capabilities of the compiler so all this can be done with your c++ code creating rectangles creating palettes this is still relevant if you are writing code for the embedded world where you have a very small screen for example and if you are uh, if you want to write code for the intel nook computers or the intel compute stick uh, series of computer you can still use the borland compiler in uh, those kind of machines so so get image input image demo some if you want to make bar charts 3d bar charts these are 2d bars and just some random bars this is how do you create some arcs creating some circles and create a pie chart so if there is a requirement in your project to create a right uh, code for an embedded system for a small computer you can definitely use this so pie chart just to create some lines and uh, some tools some circles line styles line styles uh, if you want to use fonts as well there are various fonts also available the thing is ms dos uses very less memory and very less disk space so i mean it still can be used in many places so these are the fonts available fonts some more fonts more fonts and uh, european fonts You can create vertical as well as horizontal fonts. So it's a gothic font in various styles here, both horizontal and vertical. Yeah, it's a demonstration of the fonts still going on. So now we are in the graphics mode. It is switching us to the text mode. And let's go back to the graphics mode again. So how to fill rectangles with different styles of fillings. If you want to create your own fills, so creating polygons as well in case if there is a need, and that should be all. So yeah, that was it. And I have installed this in the C T C folder that is Turbo C. So if you case if you are interested to use this, and. Uh, yeah, so uh, what I also is, is there on this virtual machine. So I have the Quick C compiler, which I have explained in the past video. And this has the Turbo C compiler as I was demonstrating here. And uh, it has example code as well, just in case you are interested. A lot of C++ code, how to create a calculator, how to, in fact, you can also create a, a spreadsheet. So uh, in case you are interested to see how a spreadsheet can be written so it's tcalc so here it is turbo c demonstration program how to write a excel like spreadsheet in uh, pure c so this is how you do it uh, see the menu you can press the slash key and there are various menus here spreadsheet format delete utility auto quit so if i choose spreadsheet you can uh, save the spreadsheet or load it so I press the slash, slash menu again and I'll choose the quit option here, the last one. So I can oh and I'm back to the DOS mode. And yeah, so all these sample programs are there, and this should give you a clue how to write your own spreadsheet, just in case if you are interested to do such thing. It's a good idea to learn and just in case. Yeah, I hope you like this short video really. I want to keep it short, just uh, like or introduction and I'll provide this virtual image uh, this virtual computer which you can uh, download from the link which I'll give you and uh, hopefully this should uh, be a good starting point if you want to learn C or C++ and uh, uh, yeah just uh, practice those skills if, 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 if you are in a project which requires them I'll see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching cheers bye bye